All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's both your one and only. How all my adventures going? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day because if those of you guys who have not kept up with what I've been posting on the community tab, um, I'm finally going to make a video talking about it. So, Grand Fantasia Origin has finally released more details. It's just a little bit of details, nothing like a shit ton. But it is going to be some things that are going to be interesting. And I'm going to go over it. If you guys are wondering what you're looking at, I'm on Gravitation Memory, the private server. I am currently farming for my level 85 hammer while I was doing that. But um, yeah. Gravitation Origin. So, as you guys can see, it's going to be in the third quarter. So probably somewhere around September. And this is the update that they had. They have placed so right off the bat we have an fully upgraded engine so it's gonna be changing graphically like <laughs> quite a lot to be honest because now the grass actually has like texture to it other than you know just softly painted it's actually gonna have like some detail and the grass is actually gonna be blending in with the ground so this is nothing like too major we're just going to get like a big graphic update right here and it does look strange to be honest to see it like this when you're so used to it like this but i'm i'm mostly hoping that they change the combat a little bit you know somewhat similar to um how World of Warcraft is to where you can actually like move around and attack. Sort of like a twin saga a little bit. I like to move around and attack. But we don't know how much they're going to change all the mechanics and combat. We don't know if they're going to touch combat either. I did like the look of this. Like everything has like actual shaders on it too. Like right here you don't see any shade any shadows or anything but right here you do actually see it which actually gets me pretty hyped because if they're doing this think of like the settings and mechanics that they're gonna you know introduce into the game now that it's actually like on a different engine or if it's not on a different engine so they're still the same one hopefully they're adding more stuff to it uh the next thing is class gameplay return in recent years, adjustments to the class mechanics have greatly changed player experience. In the Origin version, we will restore the previous gameplay basic, allowing players to reclaim their most powerful and skilled gameplays. Wait, what? So are we going back to previous skills and not touching a rework? If that's the case, why did we rework? Why did we rework the first gravitation, the original gravitation? That that one's worded weird. Or maybe I read that wrong. We we'll restore in. We we'll restore the previous gameplay basics. That just sounds like we're going back to the older skills. Hmm. I'm interested to see this. This has me very curious about skills. Because if they do rework skills, hopefully it's something not too drastic. I'm just hoping my druid is not hoed as much as they did the whole, what was it? Sprite Fantastica or something like that? Sprite Fantasia? Wasn't that the mobile version? Where the... The sage in that game did not have any transformations or anything. It was basically just playing like a nature priest. Yeah, let's not have that. <laughs> uh, multi optimization and remakes. Um, the origin version will feature more optimization, including batch. Oh. Oh, this is nice. So this is basically like putting gears, not gears, uh, costumes and making like a bunch of costumes all together, right? 
if that if that's the case, I actually might love this, especially because it takes so long to do these. We'll probably be sitting there for like a good 20 to 30 minutes trying to get a yellow or five star mount or throne. Let's hope let's hope that uh that's the case there. Uh quit split flow. Quick split flow. The fuck did you just say to me? The um, I'm not sure what that is. Quick split flow. Trying to remember if there's anything <laughs> that comes to mind when I hear that. No, there's nothing that comes to mind when I read this. And if anybody else knows, do leave it down in the comments. I would love to know what the fuck that is. And if I've been actually insulted. Um, <laughs> next one is reduced loading timers. Well, the loading time hasn't been real bad for me. But if they reduce it even more, that's going to be interesting, considering that the new engine has more graphics than the older Grand Fantasia. So that's going to be quite curious to, to see. Uh, quick gear swap. Ooh. I wonder if they're going to do the loadout system that, that um, what was the Grand Fantasia I played? Was it... Was it Feet? Was it Phoenix? I don't think it was Phoenix. It was one of them that had like a loadout that you could swap between that actually looked like very, very interesting. It was it was Ignite. That's what it was. I was going to bring up my Discord and see. It was Ignite. Ignite had like a loadout to where you had three different loadouts and you could click one and it will change that loadout as well. That was neat. I love that. So if they do something like that, I would definitely be on board for this. Uh, archive search. Okay, so basically like a uh, violet. Okay, so they're doing a little bit of things that they've probably seen or, you know, probably tried out private servers, you know, seeing what people like and probably did some research into what interesting features that the private servers had, you know, they probably researched all of that and just actually decided to do this, which is great. Allow players to play modern past ventures. Okay. So, obviously, it's still going to be the same. Gravitation. Okay, so... Diversity. In addition to, Chin to Chinese, the Origin version will support English and Japanese players. Allowing more players worldwide to join our big family. Hmm. So that says nothing about EU or other places. So, like France. This. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Uh, server enhancements. For the global version, Gravitasia will support multiple languages, including Japanese. Okay. There it is. <laughs> Okay, I just had to read a little bit more. Why Why is this separated? I don't get why that's separated, but, you know, hey, at least we know. Additionally, this version will be optimized for Mac. Okay, Mac players can actually enjoy the game as well. And the new class, this is what I was, like, really interested in. Because this was very weird. So let's talk about this. Um, ninja. <laughs> so, so you guys are probably instantly thinking to yourselves, don't we have fucking Shinobi? <laughs> we literally have a Shinobi class. Is that not the same thing as Ninja? That has me confused on how ninja and shinobi kind of balance each other out but um a global exclusive class the ninja can advance to secret agent or imperial vanguard okay oh this one's gonna actually have a shuriken 
So we have more weapons coming into the loot pal. Oh, okay, it's classifying it as a warrior class, so it's going to be a lot tankier than Shinobi, is what I'm... So what I'm uh, seeing here, I mean, if you put warrior in there, I'm automatically thinking, okay, it's, it's going to be a little bit more of a brawler. But I doubt it. It's probably still going to be like pretty squishy, but high damage. Uh, various attack ranges, shuriken techniques, and mysterious spells. I'm actually interested to play this class. And I'm curious as to what each skill would be inside of the kits. I'm more interested in Secret Agent. Hmm. Then you also got to think about what's going to be the next class advancement after Secret Agent and Imperial Guard. Or if that's like the end game of end game for it as their names. Because uh, Secret Agent and Imperial Vanguard could be the last job for them. And there's probably some other job names in between. Either that or this is just an next option and they're just kind of going with the flow. And releasing like new classes every time. But it's, it's cool to see them making new classes. That's that's what I like to see. Originating from Exotic Eastern Island. They're attacked into in distracting and assassinating enemies with dazzling attacks. I like this. This could actually be interesting, especially fighting with a shuriken. And if they're actually going to make it like a whole bunch of like ninja spells, kind of like Naruto. Naruto. To where they're doing like the whole hand symbols and stuff. That, that could actually be interesting as a class. Oh, wait a minute. Are they going to have it to where you, uh, probably summon clones again maybe they probably could have it to where you like summon clones for sure that would make sense you know that or a clone that just distracts and taunts and takes away uh aggro uh certain skills affects a skill adjustment Certain skills and effects, such as Soul Link, between a couple of safe return functions and life drain effects, are subject to adjustments or removal. Hmm. Life drain is from Necromancer. Safe return is from Mage, I believe. So. Soul Link, I'm pretty sure, is also from Necromancer as well, right? I'm pretty sure. But then again, this is still coming from somebody who only plays Druid. Uh, <laughs> okay, so mechanic adjustment. To ensure resource balance, we will be... Oh, God. To ensure resource balance, we will add entry limits to the dungeons and remove requests, which previously allowed. Uh, exit. Okay, so they're talking about basically the economy <laughs> just going straight through the roof. It's not going to change. Magic Clay kind of screws that, the whole economy. But we'll, we'll see where that goes and if they're adding back the dungeon limit that's ooh. are they trying to treat this like um eden eternal eden eternal still has repeat quest but you know eden eternal also has 10 10 times you can enter a dungeon I guess it'll be a less gold farming. Okay, if they remove the repeat quest, I mean, the repeat quest didn't really give all that much XP. 
that's also another thing to note. There really was not that much XP coming from um, their peak quests. That's why nobody really touched them or did them or anything like that. They are mostly like a waste of time. But if they are moving the peak, repeat quest, that means they're probably are going to mess with the quest lines, like the actual main quests on the map and actually give them better rewards or XP or gold to make them more worth actually doing. Because people mostly did dungeon runs to be able to power level. That's also another thing. So now that we're having that limit, there's going to be less power leveling and more people out in the world actually like grinding. Which is going to be interesting to see how that works out. Or if they're going to actually go back on it. Okay, so specialization point optimization. By reaching a certain level, players can restart their specialization points for free. Fully refunding all the points upon reset. After surpassing a certain threshold, the refund will be canceled. All players will, excuse me, allowing players to adjust to their most suitable style. Okay. So this is basically mastery. Putting in your mastery points. That's nice. They haven't um, specified what level, so I'm thinking they're probably still in the works of that. So if anything, I guess once you hit like that certain level, it's best to just farm all of your uh, your points and start playing around with your build a little bit, seeing what you can and can't do. That was just that was just pretty meh. So I'm guessing um, we're still going to have those restart, reset um, specialization items. This is the one that actually interests me quite a bit. Uh, other adjustments. New, new appearance options, including hairstyles, skin colors, and eyes, eye colors, have been added to the character customization. This... I actually like because we've had the same hairstyles for like I don't know how long since like the beginning of the game and I think they had added in just like a tiny bit more because there's some I don't remember from like when Grand Fantasia first started so I'm interested to see what hairstyles they actually add and if they actually look good with like a helmet or hat on because sometimes when you put like a hat on it changed the hair a lot and it looks very weird. <laughs> Additionally, quest progression adjustments and dungeon difficulty reclassification. Oh, okay. So dungeons are going to probably be a lot harder to where you can bring to where you're actually going to have to bring in players and go in as a party. That's going to be interesting. But I also talk about the quest thing. So if they do this sort of like, um, Aurora Kingdom, like every last quest you do actually gives a percentage of HP instead of like a set set amount. It could be good. It would, it would definitely take a load off of like most players who are trying to farm and actually give them a reason to do these quests in every area instead of relying on dungeon. But that's something I'm curious about of how they're going to go about the whole quest progression. I'm also curious on how, how much harder they're going to make dungeons. And I swear to God, X-Legend, do not rely on reflection damage ever again. Like, nothing but in-game was reflection damage. Like, can we... Can we just jump from reflection damage to actual mechanics? I will actually love actual mechanics. Over there just being nothing but fucking reflection damage to kill players. 
in in game it it was insane how much we relied on damage reduction and i hope they learned that players really don't like pin <laughs> cuz that that's a lot of the servers a lot of the servers have already turned off pin or countered pin in some type of way um all other updates have been made to make Fantasia more suitable to the current era. Current era. What do you, what do you mean by that? What? Do you, whoa. I'm thinking about this current era, and I, era, and I don't like that. I don't like how you word that. <laughs> Anywho, anti cheat. Fantasia has implemented an anti cheat to enhance the new player behavior and data tools to protect the player's rights. Um, the overall game adjustments and schedule are expected to allow players in September. Okay, so I was right. Rather you are a veteran player or a new player, you are welcome to experience the advantage. Okay, yeah. Interesting. I'm looking forward to this. That is pretty much all the details. Seeing what everybody else is saying. Since I last looked at this, another person was talking about like, you no, know, it's starting in August instead of uh, September. It it makes sense of what they're talking about because summer vacation is about the end for a lot of players, for a lot of kids, if anything. But I, I'm gonna guarantee you, most players who are gonna be joining the start is going to be nothing but older players. <laughs> So a whole bunch of veterans, if anything. I'm still on my druid getting a bear form or bear summon bullshit. So don't fucking judge me. I'm still on that train. Fight me. Just saying, dude. Druid needs a bear summon or a bear form instead of the fucking gorilla. Because I would love to just walk around on all paws and slam attack you know, some means. That would be cool. Instead of the fucking gorilla. But anyway. Oh yeah, the next thing this dude was talking about was the... Um, the dungeon limit. They did remove this. Inside of, um... The global... Not global. The original Grand Fantasia. It's gonna be weird calling or Grand Fantasia Origin and Grand Fantasia Original. Because... Origin still means original. That's going to confuse people. But, um, Gravitasia original, as in the first Gravitasia, did remove the whole dungeon limit. I'm curious if they're going to change it to 10 or 5, like they had it back then. But it is interesting to see that they decided to add it back. And I think they probably took it away just because of Gravitational Origin coming out and they gave the free they already know it's it's fucked over there so they were just like you know what we're gonna start this new one and we're gonna do it right <laughs> I guess I mean the economy is already fucked inside of the original Gravitational like if you go in there and dude those prices are fucking insane we're going to see how players do with the new origin. I guarantee you, everybody's still going to be price hungry. But Eden Eternal and what was it? Twin Saga have been tamed from when I last looked at it. They've been very tamed. Who knows if Grand Fantasia could actually be tamed on their stuff too. We will see. I'm very much hoping that it that it is tamed. Yeah, the yeah, I know. I know a lot of players did it for like a source of gold. Too many people did this. The whole alt account. That's probably going to be countered 
as the anti-cheat part as well. So that's probably something to keep in mind of making two accounts and having them up on one PC. Now, if you have multiple PCs, that probably could be a different story, but who knows how that's going to go. I say the original Grand Fantasia was very, very, very pay to win. I'm hoping they actually. I'm hoping they actually uh, fix that. I started playing this game in elementary Because that was. I remember. That was something that a lot of players did not like because a lot of items you could not get through normal means. And a lot of items were locked behind timed scheduled events as well that people did not have time to do as well. Like uh, Spire, the world bosses, PvP being time locked too, which was fucking weird for like 1v1s you couldn't do 1v1s because it was also a time schedule thing it was it was dumb but you know those things were all time locked and were not friendly so hopefully that's what they mean about adjusting it to the current era to respect our time a little bit more we're gonna see how this goes i kind of wanted to look at the trailers because the trailer did interest me a little bit. I started playing this game in elementary school. I remember playing as a priest, enjoying dungeons and boss battles, enjoying battlegrounds with friends at level 40. True, same. I almost cried when I got my first yellow weapon. Although my old friends quit, and I played many RPGs since. The only oh, dude, the feels. You didn't have to say all my friends quit. 16 years passed. This game has finally been re-released. Familiar scenes, familiar BGM. Let's find happy moments together in Grand Fantasia. I like how they did like the little bit of a tease right there. Let's Hold on. Familiar scene. The jelly rabbits look so weird with actual texture on them. That makes me feel so uncomfortable to see them like that. And why are jelly rabbits in castle? What? Anyhow. Wait, they look weird with texture too. Everything find... looks a lot darker. It looks like the spells are gonna pop more. You know, actually have some little bit of oof to it. You know. Let's find happy moments to... So the the graphics seem like they're gonna be changing along with the effects as well. So we have another trailer here. Hold up! Wait a minute. Okay, that still looks like the original. So this is just basically. Ooh, hold on. Am I tripping or? Or do these mounts look a lot darker? Okay, are they showing like the real new ones? I was trying to figure out if this is like the graphic enhance. No, it's not. This isn't the graphic enhance because that's still the old grass. Unless they're showing like new. Huh. interesting but yeah that is that that's all man make sure to pre-register please make sure to pre-register make sure to pre-register also add to your wish list as well <laughs> uh it seems like alice is already wish listed as well uh I'm probably gonna start up with alice in shadow if shadow's gonna play not sure if shadow's gonna play actually i have to ask him if he's gonna be playing on the release date hopefully i don't have to work on a release date of whichever they pick in set september that was that would suck if they just release it on the work day for me or if they have some issues on launch to where i can't play through an entire day 
I have to wait for my off day. So, with that said, um, I'm looking forward to this. I'll say, if they can actually do it a lot better than they did for the original and make it less pay to win, that's going to be great. Because people keep forgetting this. Your free players keep the game populated, which keeps the wells. And or any money spender, actually. The more your game is leaned towards free to play, the more players you'll have. And the more, you know, the benefits of there being a potential to where those free to play players might, you know, throw a little bit of money your way. Or become a well. Who knows? Free to play players are needed for games to survive. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But yeah, guys, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys are looking forward to Grand Fantasia, let me know down in the comments. And let me know a few things you're hoping for for Grand Fantasia Origins. Until then, peace out.